For nitrogen, we have five valence electrons, so we can put the N in the center to represent the nitrogen with five dots around it. Those represent the valence electrons. Remember, valence electrons are the electrons that are involved in forming chemical bonds with other elements. That's why they're so important in chemistry. We can find the number of valence electrons using the periodic table. The group number tells us the number of valence electrons for the element. For example, hydrogen has one valence electron because it's in group 1, sometimes called 1a. If you look at group 2 or 2a, you'll see that those elements have two valence electrons. We'll skip over the transition metals since they're a bit more complicated and probably don't apply to you. We'll go to 13 or 3a, which have three valence electrons, then 14 or 4a, each of those elements in group 14 or 4a have four valence electrons, all the way up to group 18 or 8a, which have eight valence electrons. Nitrogen, which is in group 15 or 5a, has five valence electrons. So to draw the lewis stott structure for nitrogen, we'll put the N with five valence electrons around it. So that's the lewis stott structure for nitrogen. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.